this video, I will show you how to scan a stock pile using a Trimble Universal Total Station and SES 900. To start, I will go to the home icon, Total Station, Stock Pile Scanning. DM mode is then enabled in the Total Station to measure reflectorless targets. In the Stock Pile Scanning setup, I indicate which point I want to measure to define the search window of my scanning area. The first point I want to measure is the lower left boundary of my stock pile. So I'll select lower left boundary, hit next, measure the lower left boundary, and now I'm providing a name and feature code. I'll name it boundary and I'll give it a feature code of volume boundary and hit accept. Now I'll select the bottom middle here in the stockpile scanning setup. Then I'll hit next and measure the lower center of my pile. The name is incremented and I'm using the same feature code so I'll press accept. I'll repeat these steps for the lower right section of the stockpile and the high point of the stockpile. Alright, that's the last measurement. Now my search window is defined. Here are my stockpile scanning settings. Now I can provide a scanning grid entering a horizontal and vertical interval. Also, I can enter a minimum and maximum distance. If someone walks in the line of sight of my total station, based on my minimum and maximum distance settings, my measurement will not be affected. I'll enter an initial point name. And I will enter a different point code. Then I'll hit accept. And there's a summary of my scanning so then I'll hit start. Now my total station is scanning the stockpile. Here is a cross-section view of our stockpile, which is color-coded. Green means the measurements were taken successfully. Also, I can rescan certain areas after the scan is complete by selecting a section. Now one side of my stockpile is measured and I'll have to set up my total station in a different area to scan the other side.